In this video, we are going to refactor the inventory list component because we are having this list item here. This can be extracted out to a separate component. Why we want to do that? Because later we are going to have the edit functionality here. Okay? And uh, you may want to add the delete functionality if you want. If we still put them in the same component, you will see more and more code in the component which makes the maintainability worse. So imagine if we didn't even create this inventory list component, we just put everything inside the inventory list page. Then you will have a HTML table, you will have um, uh, the added functionality here. So that really makes the implementation as well as the later maintenance not so easy to do. That's why we want to break the page into different components. And we look at each component. If we find something that can be encapsulated in its own component, we want to do that. Particularly, uh, we're doing this because this, uh, all of these components are stateful components. They each have their own life cycles, life cycle events. And if we want to control all of them in the same file, it's going to be a mess. Let's create a inventory list item component. Inventory list item component. And going back to here, and what we are going to do is we're going to extract this out and put it inside the inventory list item component. Of course, we don't have this list of inventories. We can pass that from the parent component to the child component by going through a parameter. And remember, a parameter is just a property. So if you're familiar with C-sharp, this is very easy to understand. Here, the parameters type would be just a list of uh, inventory. right? And then we'll have um, inventories. It seems to be a better name than list inventories. And then we can loop through this. Again, we want to initialize it so it, it is never now. And let's go back to the inventory list component. And here we can just put our inventory list item component right over here. We don't have the property that just because we didn't put the parameter here. So we need to annotate it with parameter attribute going back to the parent component we can see the inventories parameter here we can provide our list inventories right in here now here we don't need the add sign that's because the list of inventories is not a string right so when the parameter is a string then c sharp doesn't understand whether you're providing just a hard-coded string or it's a variable so that's why you need it uh, to to put an add sign here but because this is not a string, so it's not confusing to the compiler. That's why we can just do this without the I sign. Now we have extracted this out and let's give it a test to see whether it still works or not. All right, going back. Okay, looks like everything is still working. And that's what we want to do in this video.